Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Love. I am your host, Monique Gigi, and we have a super quick meal because time is of essence and I have to get out of here. So, um, I think last time I came before you guys, I cooked... What did I cook? I cooked something. <laughs> I don't really remember, but it's okay. Um, you can check out my YouTube channel, Monique Gigi, and Shrimp Tacos, thank you. Um, yeah, so it's been a little minute, but yeah. Today, we're gonna be cooking shrimp pasta salad. And we're gonna whip this up real quick. I have already done a step ahead, as you guys normally know. Um, I've already boiled my pasta. It is sitting here cooling and we're gonna cut up tomatoes and olives and a little bit of cucumber. I'm not gonna put a lot of cucumber in there this time, um, but it's okay. But how you guys doing today? What's going on? Hopefully, I'm gonna move this out of the way so you guys can really see. Hopefully that, that should be good enough. Listen, favorite tomatoes, the one on the vine. If you can get the ones on the vine. I'm awesome today, how are you? You know, let me tell y'all a story. Like, that is really funny. So today has been, like, a really interesting day. Um, Just overall, like, just allowing. Listen, you got allowed to God, allow God to deal with you where you are. And, you know, that brings forth growth. Let me just tell you that. Just allowing him to do whatever he needs and wants to do in you. So today was really interesting. And I had, like, a moment of being like, okay, God, you know what? Just do you, okay? And it was th very therapeutic. I felt a lot better. And I came home and I was like really exhausted. I really should have ate today, like properly ate. And I didn't, I did, I did take some of these with me and I had some cucumber, but it just wasn't enough. It was hot today. I just felt like so drained. Oh, thank you. Um, And like, I just felt really drained. So I was sitting down and I'm like, okay, am I gonna record, am I not? I'm like, let me just go ahead and get it done. I was sitting on the couch and I'm like, I don't know what made me do it. I don't know. But on the inside of me, I was just like, and I was like, Jesus loves me. And I just screamed it out loud. I don't know how, because normally when you, those of you who know, when you have an iPhone, Siri, when you tell it to do something, it will like say your name or like respond to the command in my Bluetooth, like, that was in my ear, my phone literally starts playing, yes, Jesus loves me. Let me tell y'all God, like I started bawling. I'm like, yes he does. And it was like these little kids singing it. And you know, normally your phone, when you do something, when you say, hey Siri, play such and such, you say, now playing such and such. It didn't do that at all. It literally just started playing the song and I'm like, <laughs> Yes, Jesus does love me. Like, he really does. And it just, like, it brought tears. Like, I just sat there and I cried. But it was, like, so therapeutic. And it made me feel so much better. And I was just like, you know, sometimes we need those reminders. Like, we all go through things. And life it can be very tough at times. But we need that reminder, y'all. Yeah? Like, we need that reminder. Oh, you know, yes, Jesus loves us. Like, it's okay. It is not the end of the world. Even if it feels like it's the end of the world, it's okay. Like, it's gonna be all right. And just, I just had so much peace and so much joy, like, after that. I was just like, all right. You know, cause sometimes you just need that good cry, like, to just let it out and just go on about the rest of your day. Like, okay, all right, I let, and you know what, let me tell you guys something. I have traditionally been a person who holds things in and I've been told like, you shouldn't do that. Don't hold it and let it out. Yeah, that's easier said than done when you've always held it. And not to say like always, always, because I, I will cry. But I don't like crying over things that I feel like are insignificant. Like, oh, I shouldn't be crying over that. Like, it'll be all right. And it's like, no, sometimes you need to let that stuff out and let it go. Like, it'll make you feel so much better afterwards. I'm going to sit these to the side because that's still kind of hot. And I don't want to put, I don't want to start cooking my tomatoes. So I'm just taking these cherry tomatoes and literally like cutting them in half. Um, sometimes I do cut them up smaller than that, but these are so good. I want to say, like, let me tell you guys, like, this brand, and I got these at Aldi, so good. Like, if you have not tried these, please 
go get you some. <laughs> like, Aldi is not expensive. If you can buy, listen, I don't buy regular tomatoes anymore. Like, I haven't in years. Um, I just get cherry tomatoes and then just cut them up. Um, I don't normally cut these in any particular way. Hello, welcome. It's just however I feel. Um, I will say I no longer buy regular cucumbers. I buy this kind, which is the long ones, but if you can tell, like, the skin is different. Um, and then I'll buy, like, the baby cucumbers. And so, yeah. I'm going to put these up. Not super small. Put these all back in this bowl. But, yeah, like, I just thought that was so crazy that that happened. I don't, you know what? It wasn't crazy. It was God. Because God knew in that moment, I so needed to hear, yes, Jesus loves me. Like, and it's, listen, God is so amazing. I'm, I'm going to try my best not to cry again. I went on makeup. I'm like, I'm gonna spruce myself out before we leave out. But like, God is just, he hasn't forgotten about any of us. And he loves us all so very much that literally he will allow a song to play knowing that you needed that song. Like, and let me tell you something else. And I don't care what nobody says, okay? I believe this to be true. So a couple weeks ago, I'm like, it's about to start getting cold. I'm not ready for the cold. I, will, I still want it to be warm. I was like, God, please give me like two more weeks of nice weather before it gets cold. Because I'm really not ready for it, to, for it to be cold yet. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I enjoy hoodie season. But where I live, it didn't start getting warm until like late June. And so, you know, if it's been cold predominantly most of the year, you want to enjoy, I don't mean... I love the heat. Like, it could be 90 all year, and I would be, like, so happy. Don't get me wrong, I do, like, the changing seasons. But I would be happy with the heat. But anyway, so I prayed. I was like, God, please give me two more weeks of heat. So week before last, it kind of warmed back up. And I was like, okay, God, gave me one week, but I'm not tripping. Thank you, God. And so last week, it was, like, pretty cool. So then I was talking to my mom. She's like, yes, let's warm up. Like, so I was like, what? No, no, it's not. And she's like, yes, it is. It might, it's supposed to cool off Tuesday, but it's going to warm back up the rest of the week. I was like, nah. So yesterday, no, so that day I went and checked it on, Ac I only trust AccuWeather. I do not trust the weather on the iPhone. I don't know about y'all, but that's me. Thank you for the hearts. Um, And so I'm like, so I'm going there looking. I'm like, Lord, y'all, it's going to be hot next week. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. I didn't get my two weeks back to back, but I got my two weeks and I'm appreciative. So yesterday, it was kind of cool. I'm like, okay, whatever. That's fine. And then look at this. Today, I'm like, wow, God. Thank you, Lord. It was like my car read 95. I was like, yes. I'm enjoying the heat. Don't get me wrong. It did drain me a little bit. But I am so grateful. Like, And I believe, no one else has to believe this. I believe God allowed it to warm up because of my prayer. So that's that. <laughs> you don't have to believe it, but... I believe it. <laughs> so, and God, I mean, I don't know. I think God answers what we may deem as crazy prayers like that. I'm actually going to put two different types of olives in here. I'm going to use Kalmata olives. I don't know why I'm holding them like that. <laughs> and then I'm going to use some of these, but I'm not going to put the, um, the pimentos in there. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, so I don't have to cut these up, but I'm going to put these down here so I can take um, those out. Oh, I'm spilling stuff. Y'all see that? But yeah, like, I think God answers crazy prayers. And like, it's just other little things that have happened in my life. Like, I'm going to tell y'all this one story. Um, So, I think I was like 16. I had a pair of earrings um, that my mom had let me wear. And one, they were diamonds. <laughs> And I lost one of them in my room. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. Like, I don't know where it is. And I could not find it anywhere. Over a year, it might have been almost two years. But it was at least like a year to the day. Like, at least a year. And so, mind you, I had like cleaned my room, vacuum, blah, 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 over all this time, numerous times. Like, you know, not even thinking about the earring anymore because I'm like, at this point, it's a lost cause. I'm never going to see it again. You know, 
And I was just like, okay, whatever. But during that time period, I don't, I'm like pointing the knife at y'all, I'm sorry. Um, during that time period, like I was really, not so much intentionally, because I, like I was a teenager, but like I was allowing God to help me grow in some ways during that time. And I think, this is just me, I think because of my obedience during that time, God allowed me to get the earring back. How about you guys? That earring was found literally on the floor in front of my bed one day, just sitting there. And I'm like, like, how is this possible? Like over a year later, literally sitting, I came out room one day and I'm like, oh my gosh. My mom's like, what's going on? I'm like, I hear it. The hearing gets back. The hearing gets back. And like, literally it was right there. And so I'm like, listen, do not tell me what God can and can't do because he is the author and finisher. And I just think when you, I think our obedience is key in a lot of things happening, but like that's just blessed my life. And there've been other times like stuff like that has happened as well. And I read this book. Um, I can't even think of the name of it. I think it's called it's something about the glory. Oh, I'm gonna remember it for next time I come on. But anyway, it's about the glory of God and this man and his wife were over in uh, Paris ministering. And they had, had someone in the car with them who they were dropping off from the ministry at like the end of service or whatever. And the lady gets home, she can't find her license, right? Mind you, none of her stuff was ever in the back of the car. She only had herself in the front. Her license was missing. How about they found her license in the trunk of the car, sitting by itself. I think the lady had lost her license, like somewhere else. I think God put it there and they brought it back to her. I was like, so sometimes we don't be paying attention to stuff, we lose stuff, you know, we so busy and God will miraculously bring stuff back for us. So, you know, I got crazy faith that stuff like that isn't gonna just happen in my life. But, you know, whoever wants to receive blessings. And sometimes it's not even necessarily that you want. I'm sorry. I'm probably smacking really loud. But, you know, God is just that strategic. And he's that amazing. And sometimes he wants to blow our minds of what he think, what we think he can't do. That he will do. And outdo what you think he won't do. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Bible says he'll do exceedingly, abundantly, above what we can ask or think. That is true. Okay? And I know it to be true. Because... How was my earring pop right back up on my floor? And I was just like, yeah, God is amazing. <laughs> like, so amazing. So let me tell you guys. So this, this, this calls for you to like mix this with water and like make this up. Like, I don't, this is my favorite. So I am going to put this in there, but I'm not going to mix it up how the directions tell you to because... That's not my preference, you know? So I'm gonna sprinkle some of this on there. And then I'm gonna put my veggies. Hopefully this is cool down enough and it's not too hot. Oh, you know what, you guys? I said I was gonna show you this next time I came on. Cause I couldn't remember if I showed you guys before. But look at this, isn't this cute? Taste the good life. <laughs> I got that from my house for me. I thought that was like the cutest thing. I was like, ah, thank you. But yeah, God does miracles. He's not done doing miracles. You know, I just think some things are, sometimes he does them without us even having to do anything necessarily. You know, he just, he just does it. So I'm gonna put all these in there. And now I'm gonna put my wishbone. This is the regular Italian one. Normally I use the robust. For anyone who has watched my video on what was that the lamb chops i did the last time i marinated lamb chops i used the robust one from wishbone it was really good oh, it was so good like listen marinating your lamb chops is fire okay <laughs> you don't have to but it's optional um and so i'm gonna put these olives in there in two different kinds and I've had it with olives in there before but this is my first time making it with olives 
I don't know what I was doing. And somebody was like, yeah, I put a hose in. I was like, ah. you know, I've had it, but I've never like made it myself. I'm going to do that this time. And this is just, um, <laughs> duh, it's shrimp. But it is cocktail shrimp from, I'm trying to get the package so I can show you guys from Aldi. So I'm just going to put these in there. And of course, if you don't eat seafood, don't put it in. <laughs> don't do that. You don't eat shrimp. Don't do it. You know, there are people allergic to shrimp, which is like, I think it's sad. But at the same time, it's more for me. I mean, they know what not to eat. <laughs> they know what not to eat, you know? It's just more for all of us who do love the crustaceans of, you know. And some people are like, oh, well, it's like the, the, what do they say, the roach of the sea? It's a good roach. <laughs> It was a mighty good roach. I can't. It was. I'm gonna stop because I don't smack in you guys' ear. Because I listened to one of my videos earlier and I was like, gosh, I was smacking loud. I wasn't even close to the camera. I'm like, good Google go, move there. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit more dressing in there. Like the last of it. But how's everyone's day going? Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate, oh, see, this is, see, this is the one I like. I thought they were the same. But the, you know, the robust just has a little bit extra, mm. you know? Yeah. I think I'm going to put a little bit more olives in here. And then we'll be good to go. You ever thought a roach was a raisin? No, sir, I did not. I do not have roaches, so... A roach that not ever been anything I'm eating. I love raisins though. Listen, it's funny. I'm not supposed to eat chocolate, but I love chocolate covered raisins. Has anyone ever had, I don't know, probably got really excited. Anyone ever had carob? It tastes like chocolate. Thank you. But it's not. And the great thing is it won't break me out, you know, because I'm really not supposed to eat chocolate. I'm going to put a few more olives in here. But yeah, so... Has anyone ever had carob? I think it's C-A-R-O-B. All right. We are looking good, you guys. So I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Rinse it off so you guys can see kind of up close. Give you a closer look. I am gonna be doing another video, but it won't be live. It'll just be on my YouTube channel. I might record that tonight. It's going to be a kitchen haul. So it's going to be some of the stuff that I bought recently for my kitchen. Just to share with you guys some of the stuff that I have in here that I really like. And yeah, that excites me. So I wanted to share some of that with y'all. Um, but yeah, here we go. That is the pasta salad. Hopefully you guys can get a picture of that. I will be posting this on my YouTube channel. Um, Monique Gigi, it should be up. What is today? Today is Tuesday. It should be up by tomorrow, if not tonight. Um, I also will post a, a clear picture on my Instagram, which is Gigi Lux. My Twitter is Gigi Lux. Listen, this is key, you guys. Pay attention. Gotta listen real close. If you guys make any of the stuff I've done on my channel, Please let me know. Show me some pictures. Send them to me on Instagram. Tag me in them. Um, my page is open. It's not private or anything. So tag me in. I would love to see some of the recreations of the recipes. Even if you alter it, don't put the shrimp or whatever. Make it your own. Some people put feta cheese on top. Do you, boo? You know, make it your own. Um, and even if you have questions, you know, about some of the recipes as you're I'm not going to say I'm going to respond immediately, but I will try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. If an, and if I'm online, then, you know, I'll respond promptly. Um, but yeah, I want to like see if you guys are, uh, you know, if you've made some of it, if you liked it, if you didn't, if you, you know, altered it for your own taste buds, let me know. And please, if you go to my YouTube channel, I think I have... This will be episode 26, I think. So there are a lot of other episodes of things I've cooked. So um, if you want, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, some of the things that I talk about on here, um, 
I've been told have really helped a lot of people. And so if you feel like something I've talked about in an episode have, will help someone else, please share it with them. Because you just, you just also, and I say this a lot, but you never know what someone else is going through that they're not sharing with you. And as we are coming to this place in the world of really um, caring about mental health, um, please, you know, and, and check on your friends that are strong. Because you just, I know I'm I'm the type of person, a lot of times I don't share some of the things that I'm going through with people around me. Um, and just because I like to process in a certain way. But you never know what someone may be going through. I saw a picture the other day of this lady posted um, her husband and it was four days prior to him committing suicide. And I say that to say, you know, again, you never know what someone is going through and how you can affect change in their life in a positive way to, to help them. So, you know, like, share, subscribe, pass it on. And even if you're just taking something I've said that helped you and verbally sharing it with someone else, you know, you just never know. Um, my YouTube channel is Monique Gigi. So M-O-N-I-Q-U-E-G-I-G-I. -I -G -I. And my Twitter and Instagram are all Gigi Lux, G-I-G-I-L-U-X-E. So yeah, that's it. Wanted to come before you guys real quick. And that's all. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I pray this not only helped you spiritually in some way, but I pray it also feeds your body. <laughs> yes, that's correct. GG Lux. That's me. But you guys have an awesome one. Thank you guys for joining me. Yeah. You guys have a great one. Bye.